Hello peoples, welcome to World of Warcraft Dungeon Progression Challenge, episode 14. This episode mm -hmm. is going to start with the Sunken Temple, or in other words, the Temple of Atal Hakar. Now, this instance used to be much bigger than it is now. Let's see, here's the map. This is all it's been reduced to. Back in the day, there was a whole upper floor and a whole lower floor to go through, and it took really a lot longer than this does. I, hmm, I don't remember this step being here. Right, anyway, if you want to go to the last boss, uh, first you want to clear the right side to Jamalan the Prophet. But most of the time when I run this, groups are nice enough to run the, I guess you would call it extra boss, to the west side. Avatar of Hakar. And once you're done there, you just head back over to Jamalan the Prophet, clear that room, and then the south room. Um, let me think. Yeah, there are two drakes uh, patrolling around this room here. So anyways, first boss chamber. Where's the boss? I don't know. Oh, well, it's pretty easy. Just click on this Shrine of Soul Flare, this pile of skulls. And that makes him show up. Bye-bye. Anything good for me? Strength Staff, that is very rare, but not so much at uh, low levels. Intellect Cape. This might be good for me. Oh wow. Gives me a lot more strength than the um, sword I've got. Anyways, you can leave this room towards either north or south exit where you came in. Doesn't matter. You didn't come in through the south. Well, if you did, that is where you came from. Anyways, head back out here, straight down to the opposite side, Jamal and the Prophet. Well, I could say this over and over again, but, well, I'd be really repeating myself. Okay, this step really wasn't here before, I swear. I would have remembered it doing that. You used to be able to fall down this hole in the center, and there was uh, the actual final boss in there, too. And up on these balconies, there were six specific trolls that you had to uh, defeat. And then you would click on these gongs for something to happen. I forget what exactly, it was a very long time ago. And I'm not sure when they redid this dungeon, if it was in the Cataclysm, when Cataclysm went live, or Pandaria. Or it might have even been... Well, actually, no, I don't think it was Warlords of Draenor. Now this room, there are... What is it? The priests or something. Priests. Let me see. Okay, the Death Walkers. When they die, they spawn a Wraith that is immune to damage. It will follow normal threat rules, but it moves very slowly and will die after... I don't know, 10, 15 seconds or so. So if you're a healer and you pull heal threat, there's no way anyone can... I don't think it can be taunted. Let me kill the death walker and see. Taunt? Immune. Yeah. So if you're a healer, these things are probably going to chase you. So make sure to back away from those. Now let me see. I think the room pulls if you attack the boss when it has not been cleared. Yeah. Here they all come. So if you're running this at level, be mindful of that. One-handed mace, do not want. And a caster, legs. Speaking of gear, I could have replaced this with the sword. The sword with this. And yeah. That's what I always check for too with uh, two-handed classes. I have to swap hands with the weapons I have to make sure I'm doing as much damage as I can. With this, my top damage is 1889, but 2041 like this. Okay, last one. Oh, okay. When you clear Jamal on the Prophet, Weaver and Dream Scythe will fly into the room. So groups usually fight them because they're they will probably be in your way. But you could skip them. Then again, you chance someone else pulling them. And besides, you want XP and loot, so why not kill them? My music is off. 
What was I doing? I forget. So yeah, there's really not much to this dungeon anymore. I kind of miss it. I had a lot of fun figuring out where to go all by myself, but really things anymore, they aren't meant for super long dungeon runs. It really tires on you, and you know, after running Blackrock Depths, that's really been made clear. Here's final boss, Iranicus. He does a, what is it? He puts the tank to sleep, and so I don't think it's dispellable. If it is, you better dispel it quickly. And so while the tank is sleeping, he's going to follow threat rules and chase people down and they might kill you. So be super careful. Uh, well, that's it. Let's head out to the next place, which is Lower Black Rock Spire. Okay, here we are. Black Rock Spire. Now, before Warlords of Draenor, the dungeon portal was actually right here. And the dungeon would start up here, and there would be some trash on the left and right sides of the room. And you would actually run into Upper Black Rock Spire through here, through a door, and Lower Black Rock Spire by running through this doorway here. Obviously. Doorway? Passage? Hall? Whatever. Let's go. Now, Upper Black Rock, no. Well, this isn't exactly the same as Black Rock Depths because, well, it can be long, but I find it much simpler than the other one. And the entire Black Rock Spire instance, in upper and lower combined, it is really pretty big. Now, if you want, you can take a shortcut by jumping down to this ledge here, then to this ledge, then down to this floor below. But for this run, obviously, as with all the other runs, I'm going to do whoops, that and all the bosses. So it should be pretty straightforward, especially with the map. Remember, map is your friend. M for map. The M key. It's pretty straightforward, really. Straight down, down through here. I not think I know what this is. So you'll jump across the bridge next. More mobs in here. There's really nothing special about the trash, I don't think. Uh, sometimes you'll see stuff like treasure chests in the corner. Maybe that will have something that appeals to you. Probably not me because I'm max level and really I could could not care less. Male wrists. Bunch of food. For level 50 characters. No thank you. Hmm. I don't think this bridge was hanging so low before. Okay, now one little trick here. It's not really a trick, but more of a... I wonder if Warash still gives the quest. I don't think so. Anyways, Warash used to give a quest to kill some ogre. And what you had to do is loot this roughshod pike. First. And then head down this hallway. The ogres are, I guess, guarding. And defeat the boss at the end of it. Who is that? My Lord Omak. You defeat him, take his head. Um, yeah, take that along with the pike. And you plant that on a pile of skulls later in the instance. And that would summon, I guess, like the ogre that Warash once killed for his quest. But it's not a quest anymore, but he still does the little scripted stuff. Here's his head. I'm going to hold on to that. Both legs, no thank you. Sometimes there's a rare ogre up here. Or actually sometimes a rare one patrolling the bridge. Oh wait. Oh, <laughs> I guess some orcs still chasing me. Uh, you can also take a shortcut here if you wanted. It's up to you. Next away. part of the dungeon is going to be a lot of trolls and stuff. I'm not sure if you can actually sneak by here without aggroing. I don't know, groups usually pull unintentionally these guys or intentionally. I don't think I've been in a group that tried not to. Not ready yet. It's too so trolls are next, a bunch of axe throwers and 
Oh, and there are some casters that I think do hex. I um, don't remember if it's dispellable. So try not to pull too many or you're going to get spam hex and nobody's going to be able to do anything. And everyone's going to die. Alright, so you come in here and go to the doorway on the opposite side of the room of where you entered. Not down here, that's where you go next. Up here you'll find the... Well, another boss. Shadow Hunter Vosh Gajin. So yeah. Oh yeah, and I think some of the trash in the room pulls with her. Yeah. Yes, yes they do. I remember now. No loot for me. So back out here and down to the staircase that I said not to go down earlier. Now there used to be a thing where you... Yeah, another quest. Yeah, to remove all kinds of quests with the revamp. Go up here and speak to Bijou for something else, but I don't think... Wait, uh, it might exist still. I mean, they had that quest giver at the start of the dungeon that I totally skipped out on. Whoops. But yeah, I am doing all the bosses, and lucky for me, this seems to be the route that groups go in when I run this on a leveling character. It's too far away. Through this room, Shadow Thorn Berserker, and War Master Voon. He just stands there and accepts his fate. Okay, now let's leave the room, and you want to make your way to the opposite corner. Now, of course, the best way is to try and skip all the unnecessary things to make you run as fast as possible. And the last thing you want is a really long and tiring run. Like Black Rock Depth, man. I'm really glad they don't have dungeons that long anymore. Or like Maradon, man, that place is huge. And yeah, I think one of these guys drops totems. Now just regular orc trash, some casters, mages that toss fireballs, nothing big. Then you, you want to make your way through this, uh, I guess, fallen debris pile. The easiest way to see your way through is to look at look down from above. Pretty simple, and there's this little rock thing, and that's it. I mean, first time I went through here, I was pretty confused as to, hey, am I supposed to get through here? Is this a wall? But yeah, it is. This is where you go next. I'll just pull a bunch of stuff and kill it later. Now there is... well, not is. I've been trying to get a rare spawn here for quite some time. I'm not sure if it's still in the game. But he would drop a unique blacksmithing pattern for, I think, Arcanite Reaper. Do I have that? Reaper? Nope. I do not. His name is... What is it? Bannock Grimax. No, he does not exist. Forget it. Okay, so this hallway is filled with loads of trash. You can pull that too. You know, I think you may as well pull that... These three as well, because they are close enough to be pulled by a player who doesn't know this place too well. Then you'll come up into the Skitterweb Tunnels, where Mother Smolderweb resides. Oh yeah, the bigger spiders spawn smaller spiders when they die. Oh yeah, and you can get a pet here. Two pets in this instance, actually. Smaller web. Gilded gauntlets. Nope, nothing I want. Well, yeah, I could try and see if they drop anything I can use. Yeah, okay, and spiders also drop immature venom sack. This will remove the mother's milk debuff. It's, uh, well, it stays on you for, for a while, and it will periodically stun you, which is very annoying, especially when it lasts as long as it does. Sometimes there's a rare spider up here, too. Some more loot for you. Do rares even show up in the dungeon journal? No, they don't. Alright, so next, make your way through the tunnels. Now, careful of this corner here. It's easy to fall down, in case you want to take a shortcut up this hilly incline to the ogres. Now, you remember Warmaster Omok? Omok? Is that his name? Omok? Hi, Lord Omok. 
It's, it's where you plant his head on that roughshod pike. I don't know why I'm cleaning trash first. I guess, well, it's what you would normally do. So all you do is stand next to the skull pile and use the head as an item. And then both items will be used. You'll have to fight off waves of ogres. Mm-hmm. Next. And I think there's a few more until... Who am I waiting for? Rock Doomhowl shows up. Oh yeah, I got the Sulfuron Slammer last run. I said it's fun because it lights you on fire. <laughs> Does that cause me to... No, I thought it would cause me to belch flames. I guess not. And it would seem I'm completely smashed. Sorry for the... Well death of the video quality here. <laughs> My character has become completely drunk. Now I don't know any other way to remove that other than dying. But you know what, for the sake of video I'm going to die real quick and get back to here. Ta-da! All better. Crisp and clear. Okay. Now as you make your way towards the doorway on the opposite end there you'll see a couple little Passages with scarabs and scorpions. Uh, they're not even elite mobs, so you can pull them all and area of effects them down. Man, there's a lot of them. Now, this next section, you can go a number of ways. But, as with things they are, I'm gonna go... Well, whichever way gets the most bosses. Actually, just to get a better picture of where you are. You come up through here and you can either go this way, or this way down, and or this way up. What I'm going to do is turn left as soon as I exit. This will take me to some back room, Quartermaster Zigris. Zigris. It's too far away. Not much trash until he's up, one or two packs, he's walking around back here. It does say he's a rare, but I think he's almost always here. He's the mob that carries the second pet in this place. Hey, warg pup. By the way. Actually, any loot for me? Nope. Actually, Zigris didn't have any loot for me, he just had the pet. What a stingy guy. Okay, back down to where we came in. Can I... Yes, charge to the roach to make it faster. Skip this upward staircase for now. And go into Halicon's lair. I'm not sure if it's Halicon. Sorry if I got it wrong. Alright, won't you kill her or her pups? Her mate will show up, so don't leave the room right away or careful what you're doing. Because Gizril the Slavener, Slavener will show up and he might sneak up on you. That is it. That's the pair of dogs. Dirty mutts. And then we're ready to head towards the last boss of this place. It's too far away. Now this room, what is it? Ordinary City? That's like an overall description of this place. Careful you don't fall into these gaps. This is where the scorpions and scarabs were. And the other one is right here. Careful of that. Oh, and this is where the ogres were. That, that'll set you pretty far back. So basically you want to cross this wooden bridge here and one of these mobs, they have an ability that teleports you to their location. So while you're moving and if that happens to you, you could be disoriented a bit and accidentally walk off. Just be careful of that. And this is the hey! This fence wasn't here before. Well that's no fun. You used to be able to jump off here, or have the danger of accidentally falling off. No loot. Okay, in the Chamber of Battle is where you'll find the final boss, Overlord Worm the Lack. I'm gonna put all the trash at once here. Hey. There's like a small passagey thing down here. Let me quickly look at this. Is this a shortcut? Can I jump up on this? Mm, 
Nope, not a shortcut. Okay. Okay, here's the last trash. Then make your way to Overlord Wormthalak. Now, once you get him down to 50% health, he'll summon some adds that'll come up the side down here. So you want to be careful of them sneaking up on you or your group. No loot for me. Did I get anything this whole run? I don't think so. Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh well. Well, this has been episode 14 of Dungeon Progression Challenge in World of Warcraft. If you like this video, leave a like. Let me know what people want to watch. And if you want to follow along with the series or anything else on my channel, feel free to subscribe as well. Okay, till next time, where we actually get started in the raids. It's going to be fun stuff. I'll see you then. Till then, be swell, stay well, and farewell.